Hi everybody, here's my first attempt at an unboxing video. Because I didn't see any unboxing videos for this particular phone on YouTube. So, this is a Rug Gear RG170. At least I hope it is, having it opened the box. And it's um, a rugged Android candy bar phone, as you can see. Which uses, um, according to the website, uses an Android Go 8.1, so Oreo. Um, but without Google Apps. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to break the packaging trying to open it, aren't I? <sighs> Whatever. Oh no, seems to work. Cool. Well, that was easy enough. Here is the phone and some stuff. And some more stuff. Quite a mm, inexpensive looking charger. A belt clip, if I remember correctly. Um, a cable for the charger. And that's about it, I think. Oh, hang on, there's more stuff. There's a battery. Oh, yeah, cool. And there's a tool to do something, maybe to open the back of it. So here is the phone. As you can see, um, is there a screen protector on? Just pull that and may, it may have something else on the screen at the moment. Looks like a couple of scratches there, not sure if you can see that. Cool, but it is quite light, there's no battery in it, and now we know what you have to use this tool for. It's to open the back. So, let me do that and put the battery in it. Okay, this is going to take a while. Cool. Okay, it's a screwdriver of sorts. Um, let's see. Um, open seems to be this way. Wonder how much you have to turn that. Possibly enough. Let's see. Yep, it feels very light at the moment, so there's no battery in there. Okay, that was enough. Now we can put the battery in it. I'll put the battery in it without adding my SIM card yet. I'll add the SIM card later and an SD card just to see the first boot. The battery, which way round does it go? It seems to go like this. Yep. Then I can attach it to Wi Fi and this latches in the bottom like that. Then we can shut these screws. Hmm, it's inconvenient. It doesn't feel good using this small screwdriver. But I think they're biting now. A larger screwdriver would be easier to use. I wonder why they supplied this tool. I mean, I think everyone who gets one of these phones, or at least a fairly high proportion of people who get one of these phones, um, will have a screwdriver somewhere in their vicinity. Okie dokie. There seems to be buttons here. There's a flashlight. There's a headphone jack. There's a charging. Which way does it open? No. This way maybe. Okay. I'm not sure how to get into that with my nails. Ah, got it. Cool. It's a, uh, is that a micro USB? I think it's called a micro USB. It's not a USB-C. No buttons on this side. It's an SOS button, which is unusual. Volume control. Uh, how do you switch it on? Just press that button, hold it. Let's see. English, page four. Parents diagram, flashlight, receiver. I cannot see something saying power. Preparation. Yes, I've installed the battery. I haven't installed a micro SIM or a micro SD card. Charging. No, we don't want to do that. We want to switch it on. While this phone is on. Hmm. Okay. I seem to have reached the stage of just pressing 
buttons. See what happens. Cool. Uh, let's start with this end call button. It's probably a good one to try. Yay! Right, first time. Or maybe any button would have worked. I don't know. Powered by Android. Ooh, the screen resolution is good, isn't it? Not sure you can see that. Screen resolution is not good. That was me trying to be amusing. Um, let's remove this. It seems to be stuck to a screen protector. Do I want to keep the screen protector? Uh, well, it's going to be quite creased anyway now, so let's just remove it. Oh, it's not really a screen protector. Okay. Ah, that was loud. We don't have much battery, do we? Can I swipe down to open the battery? 53%. Okay, it doesn't know the current time. It doesn't know much, really. What do we have here for apps? We have a Chrome installed, which surprises me. I doubt it is a Chrome. Maybe it is, but it would be without the Google stuff. Okay, let's, let's configure Wi-Fi. Ooh, it's very loud. Um, please turn away while I'm doing this. Um, oh, how do I do this with these buttons? I'm going to have to switch on password. Okay, that worked. Uh, what is it? Oops, wrong. How do I delete letter? Um, this? No. Okay. Clear. Ah. Okay. No, I need a number. Hmm. Press and hold. Ah, press and hold. Cool. Let's see if that worked. Yay, I am now online. Let's see what sort of trickery it has. Can I update the operating system? That's going to annoy the hell out of me. Um, I have to switch that off. Sound. Um. Nope, doesn't seem to be on this one, does it? How do I get back? That's okay to get back. Yes, it is. It's actually just a standard Android, isn't it? Systems. Our phone version. Oh, 2019. Checking for updates. Do we have something? Wow. Last update 2019. I will get in touch with them to ask if they have a newer version of Android for That's three years old. And 8.1 was still being updated up to a couple of months ago. Cool. Okay, so you can see how it works. Oh, let me try to download F-Droid and install it. Um, and is this Chrome? It's the question. Settings. Yeah. It says it's Chrome. However, it doesn't ask me to sign on to Google. Let's add F droid here. Okay. And let's download the APK and see if we can install it. Download F droid. Yes, give it access, allow. Yes, I've tried APK, downloaded. Can I just click on open or will it say no? Settings, allow from this source, yep. Install. Well, that went easy, didn't it? 
That was very easy to install F-Droid. Done. Cool. So now, when I go back to the start screen, there's F-Droid. Updating repositories. That was very easy. Cool. I've got to work out what the SOS button does, what this button does. And that's it. So, if you want to see anything else, just let me know and I will make another video. Okie dokie. Bye.